Hey there, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the basics of Adobe Illustrator, and we'll start by just familiarizing ourselves with the interface. I'll be walking you through some of the basic presets and templates that you can use for standard print and web sizes. And then we'll just be taking a look at how to go about creating new documents and adjusting some of those very basic parameters. So right off the bat, when you fire up Adobe Illustrator, you will probably see a screen that looks very similar to the screen you are seeing here. And this is the home screen. Now under this, you will see the learn button here, which will take you to some useful tools, tutorials, and more within the app. And underneath that, you'll see files. Now, this is where you can find any recent files that you've been working on or maybe stored to the creative cloud. You'll see files that have been shared with you, and you can also see anything that has been recently deleted or removed from the cloud. On the very top here, you'll also have the ability to create your new file or open a recent file or project. Now, over here, you can see if you wanna start a new file fast, you can just select from one of these presets or choose more presets here. And once I do that, you will now see this pop-up panel. Now along the top, you'll see that I have mobile, web, print, film and video, art and illustration, and even some free templates here that you can use to get you started. We're not gonna bother with any of these right now because I wanna show you how to create these elements rather than having them just done for you, but they can be pretty fun to explore depending on what type of document or design you wanna create. So I definitely encourage you to just have a quick look through some of these to see what kind of stuff is available to you. For the purposes of this first lesson though, let's go ahead and click on web. Now, once you do that, you'll have about five or so presets here, and these are just the most commonly used sizes. Underneath that, you'll have some templates. And again, these are just things that can kind of give you a few elements to get started with. But if you click on view all presets with the plus symbol here, you'll then see all of these other web presets. If I do the same thing under the print menu, you'll see another row of about five commonly used presets with some templates underneath. And if I go ahead and click on the view all presets, it will reveal even more of those commonly used sizes. Now you'll notice that some of these are in points, some of them are in pixels. And if you want to change any of that, you can do that right over here on the right hand side. Now to start off, you can give your file a name up here under preset details at the very top. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, digital campaign just for now. And I can also enter my own values if I don't wanna use one of these presets. So let's go ahead and type in 1920 pixels by 1080. And you'll notice that under orientation, Illustrator is able to automatically detect that, hey, our document is wider than it is tall. So this is going to be a landscape rather than portrait orientation. Depending on the type of file you wanna create or the metric system that you're most familiar with, you also have a couple of other options here. So you can work in pixels, points, picas, inches, feet, yards, millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Most of the time, I usually stick with either pixels or inches. Next, we're gonna increase the number of artboards to four, and this is basically going to give us four different canvases or workspaces. Underneath that, you'll see we have bleed. And bleed, just to tell you quickly, if you aren't already familiar with the term, is something that's most often used in print design. And it's basically a way to add some extra room on all four sides of your design so that when a printer or a vendor trims the design and cuts it, they aren't left with any you know, harsh white edges along the edge of the design. It basically just gives them extra room uh, to work with. So if I go ahead and enter, just for example, let's say 50 pixels, and then I click on this link icon, it's going to automatically then apply that same value to the top, bottom, left, and the right. But for now, I'm just going to leave that at zero because you don't really need bleed when you're working in digital. Now under advanced options, you have color mode. Now for all web-based projects or digital projects, this should be left at RGB. And for any print projects, that is when you would wanna use CMYK. Under that, you have raster effects where you can choose the, basically the quality of the effects that are going to be used inside of Illustrator. Now, most of the time you can get away with 72 pixels per inch, but we're gonna bump it up to 150 PPI here. And then you can pretty much leave your preview mode on default. More often than not, I leave this last option here set to default. Now, once you've done that, you can click on more settings. 
And it's basically just going to give you the same settings that you have here, more or less. So let's go ahead and click on Create Document. And you will now see that we have created our first Illustrator file. And if I zoom out, you'll notice that we have all four of our artboards. So this is how you can go about customizing and setting up your first Adobe Illustrator file.